Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yasa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. This is going to be your June love reading on who's coming toward you. This could be predictive, could have already happened, could be happening now, you guys. Only take what resonates. Um, check out all the other readings that I've done for you guys. Check out the community tab because I do polls. So you guys voted on who's coming towards you. That's why I'm doing this type of reading. So the type of readings you want to see, check the community tab and vote on them, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender any and all negativity. No weapon that someone against me shall prosper. Please give me clear on this messages for all signs. Who is coming towards all signs in love for the month of June 2023? Keep me safe. Close all doors so no negativity sneaks in. Return to sender any and all negativity. I shame. Okay, you guys. Let's jump into it. Thank you for liking and subscribing. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, that link is in the description box. Some of the most recent readings that I've done will be in the description box. Ways on how to donate to the channel is in the description box. Make sure you follow me on TikTok as well. All right. Happy birthday, Gemini. It's Gemini season. We're doing Aries to Pisces. Aries, who's coming towards you? Death card could be a Scorpio. Somebody that's ended something in one relationship and is coming towards you. Or it's an ex coming back. Their intentions, four pinnacles, still not to open up, okay? Possible outcome, six of cups. You can't forget about each other, though. Okay, you still have memories towards each other. The reason why they're coming back is because they have not been able to let go. Four pinnacles, they're not opening up, but they still not letting go. Possible outcome, the six of cups is y'all continuing doing whatever y'all been doing. Scorpio, earth, water. Taurus, who's coming towards you, who they are. Ten of Pentacles could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody that makes a lot of money. They could have children already. They're well established. Their intentions with you is to be in a relationship, Ace of Cups. All right, possible outcome, Four of Wands is a full-blown relationship. Very beautiful reading. This person is serious about you. Earth, water, fire. All right, Gemini, who's coming towards you? Who they are is the Two of Wands. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Aries, Strong. This person is decisive. They're making decisions on what to do, how to move forward. Their intentions with you is to take their time, be peaceful, be balanced. It could be a Sagittarius. The possible outcome is the Towers, a big change. Okay, this doesn't mean you will or won't be in a relationship with them, but this means expect the unexpected because their intentions is, okay, yeah, I want to remain peaceful and balanced, but there's something happening in the possible outcome here because of some type of decision or because of indecision. Scorpio, Sagittarius, and fire. Okay, Cancer, who's coming towards you? Nine of Wands, somebody that's scared, afraid, that's been wounded and hurt before. They got their guards up, but I feel like they're still interested in you. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Their intentions with you, Five of Wands, they don't have good intentions here. It's to argue, fight. Okay, because... That's who they are, the Nine of Wands. They're scared. They're terrified. They got baggage. They still have a lot of wounds and trauma they haven't healed from. So their intentions is with this Five of Wands to create toxicity, create arguments because that's what they're used to. Possible outcome. Okay, I feel like you're going to just work on yourself. You're going to be like, well, how did I even attract this person in the first place? You could be working on yourself. They could be working on themselves. Maybe y'all are working on each other, okay? Because they don't need to be coming as the wounded warrior. This is going to show, okay, you're hurt. This is why you keep acting like that. This is why things are just dramatic and things like that. You need to work on yourself and heal. So it's either you doing this, they're doing this, or both of y'all. Earth, fire. All right, Leo, who's coming towards you? The Nine of Wands, the player. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, this person could just be younger than you. This person could be very uh, have a lust for life. Their intentions with you is the Knight of Swords. They have communication. Okay, I'm worried this person is coming towards you because they're bored. The possible outcome is the Three of Pentacles. Now, y'all will be still talking and flirting and continuing on doing what you're doing. Who this person is, they could be somebody. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Ten of Wands. They have fire in their chart. Seven of Wands. Who this person is is somebody that is immature. I hear abusive. This person is impulsive, they have baggage, and they're very, um, you're territorial, but they're very, um, what's the word I'm trying to say with the seven of wands, dismissive. This person is just very abrasive, 
Okay, clarify the Knight of Swords is their intentions. King of Swords. To have communication, they want to be right. They just want to be right. Okay, clarify the possible outcome. Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords. This is not going to end the way you want it to. There could be third party here. Okay, there's heartbreak. Three, three. This is not a good... Um, Honestly, this person is not a good look for you, Leo. They're childish. They play games, mind games. They have baggage. This person is very dis defensive. Their intentions to, to be very cutthroat with their words. Um, talk to you when they want to talk to you. Be I feel like this is a very manipulative, immature type of energy. They're going to try to use logic, but it's their twisted logic here. And the outcome is, I'm seeing like, I don't know why the three of pentacles is here. This person could be trying to talk to you and talk to multiple people at the same time. But I'm seeing there's something that's hurting you, Leo. Yeah, the two of swords. This isn't going to go anywhere. You're going to block this person or they've already blocked you. Okay. I see a lot of air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a lot of air. And a lot of fire. Aries, Leo, Sag, and a little bit of earth. Okay. All right, Virgo. Ace of Pentacles, you have a new person. Could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a new job also. Their intentions is the tower to make some type of changes. Okay, I'm not sure if their intentions is to break up or whatever, but the possible outcome is y'all are getting back together anyway. Okay. New person coming in. Shake things up, a little unstable. Could be a lot unstable, but the possible outcome is I feel like you two are resurrecting anyway. Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Earth. All right, Libra, who this person is, Knight of Pentacles, somebody that's slow to move, slow to act. Okay, this person does have an offer. Their intentions with you, Nine of Wands, they're not going to make that offer because they're scared. Their intentions is to guard themselves. Possible outcome, King of Wands. This could just be. Um, a sex-based thing. This could be out of ego. Now, you could be waiting on this person to give you the relationship you want. They're not going to do that, okay? They're not open, okay? The only thing they have to offer is passion, communication, sex, things like that. See, a lot of fire and earth. Scorpio, who's coming towards you? The devil, somebody toxic or somebody obsessed with you. A sexual connection could be a Capricorn. Their intentions is to show you love, show you emotion, Okay, this person could be very obsessed with you. The possible outcome, eight of swords, you feel stuck or they're stuck on you. Okay, this is just somebody that just is just very um, obsessive. Air, water, and the devil, which is Capricorn. Sagittarius, who's coming towards you? Could be a, I hear, I hear Libra, but this is Gemini or Virgo. I hear Aries as well. This person is a manifester. They manifest things. They are in control. They have ways on how they get what they want, all right? Their intentions with you, the Page of Cups, to give you emotion, show you that they have feelings for you. Possible outcome is fighting, arguing, okay? This person is immature. Okay, you guys just are not going to be on the same page, okay? Fire, water, and Gemini. Um, Capricorn, who's coming towards you? Ten of Cups. This could be somebody that has kids, somebody that has been married before. They could be married, but they're in total, complete bliss and happiness in their life. All right, their intentions with you, the high priestess, use their intuition. Keep their guards up. Try to get a feel for you. Get a feel for how they um, perceive what's going on in the connection. Possible outcome is justice. This could actually go somewhere here. You guys could actually be eloping secretly, being in a secret relationship. All right. Their intentions is they do have things they're not quite ready to open up to you about. But with balance and justice coming, I feel like it's going to be a win-win for you. I see Libra, Pisces, and Water. All right, Aquarius, who's coming towards you? The Three of Wands could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody from a distance, somebody that's walked away from you or walked away from somebody else. Their intentions, Four of Cups, they're not going to take your offer. This, is, this will be a missed opportunity. Possible outcome, Eight of Cups. Walking away. Okay, Aquarius, this is not going anywhere. See, water and fire. Pisces, who's coming towards you? Three of Cups. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
somebody that you know, a friend, or somebody that you enjoy hanging out with. Their intentions with you, the emperor. Okay, they want to keep control over this situation. They could want to grow this and expand this. The possible outcome is the five of swords. Like they want it, they just want what they want. They're a control freak. Okay. So this could be somebody that does want to have a good time. They do want to party or whatever, but they're controlling. Their intentions is to um be stoic, not give you a bunch of emotion. Possible outcome is five of swords. So you could have to possibly, I feel like you might have to defend yourself against this person. Clarify the five of swords, ten of pentacles. Now you feel like, you could feel like this person only wants to hang out with you whenever it's on your dime, whenever you're paying or whatever. Now you guys could be fighting over money. Page of swords. This is not making any sense. But what I'm seeing is the possible outcome is you are trying to get what you want, which is a relationship. I'm not sure if this person is trying to give it to you. Clarify the emperor for their intentions. Two of wands. They still kind of want to remain distant, though. They, they want to remain. They want to keep their this facade or whatever the hell, this image that they have. Okay? And it's just going to have you looking side eye like, why are you being like that? Okay? I'm not really seeing this being a full-blown relationship. You will get some type of um, reaction. But they might get reaction out of you. That's what the possible outcome is. Okay? So I see air, earth and fire and water and aries okay let's see what's going on for the singles okay singles with no options at all Okay, singles with no options at all. There's a new person coming here. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Virgo, or a water sign. Okay, I'm seeing this person does want to create new memories with you. I feel like this person will be very fun. Okay, part of you is wanting to take that leap of faith, but do not do that. Strength, hold back. Because one, you don't know this person yet. So don't let your loneliness have you just jumping off into something that you're not, um, you don't have all the information about yet. Okay. Tell me more about um, this person coming in for the singles. Now, I'm not saying this person is coming in in June. They might not be coming in in June. Okay. Emperor. Okay, it could be an Aries, a boss. All right, somebody from a distance, somebody that's foreign. They're different from the type that you've dated before. Victory, success, they're very established in their life. Okay, this person does get what they want. They're, I'm not going to lie, this person is a little spoiled. Okay, so if you don't talk the way they want you to talk or do what they want you to do, they will throw a fit or a tantrum. Clarify the Seven of Swords. This person can be controlling at times. Yeah, King of Swords. Seven of Swords, King of Swords. Okay, this person feels like they're smarter than a lot of people. Okay, and I really don't feel like they are. So just this person is used to getting away with things. They're spoiled. They're used to using their knowledge and their power to get what they want. Okay. This could be a boss. This could be your boss. Also singles, if this is not a love relationship, uh, what I'm seeing is just continue on your path. Be strong. Be courageous. Don't let anybody try to subject you to their will. Now, I know you got to do what your boss says and things like that, but make sure it's ethical. Make sure nobody's stressing you out, okay? Because I feel like somebody could be trying to stress you out. But in all, I'm seeing there could be options here. Some of them could be fun. Some of them could be nice and make you feel, you know, like you're getting the attention that you've been missing and needing. But sometimes some some of the people that you might run into, they're all about themselves, okay? So you want somebody that's going to be about you, not just about themselves. There's a lot of selfish energy I'm seeing here. Okay, so I see fire, air, Aries, Leo. Uh, I hear Scorpio. I hear Taurus, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, water, fire, air, Gemini, Virgo. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can book a personal reading with me. Until I see y'all again, y'all be safe. Peace out.